excited to share with you all that I'm finally a high school graduate. I am so honored and blessed and God, where do I even begin? It's been 10 years in the making, seriously, over coming many, many, many obstacles. And I realized that going to school for me was a privilege and I'm pretty sure for many of you out there it is. I didn't have the right support system. I was very young and I had to care for the Alexa and Eliana, provide for them financially, just really stopped me from furthering my education. And I understood that journey thankfully many years ago because at the beginning I was very bitter in a way that I couldn't finish my education between working two jobs taking the kids to daycare living on my own I was 22 at the time so on, it just wasn't possible so really holding this Nancy Solis Robles I'm just like, wow, that's my personal goal. Almost all the challenges that I've had in my life, and I don't give myself enough credit for it, but I've had to quickly bounce back, adapt. And I think I just never let myself settle. I always knew that I was capable of doing more and that my main focus were the girls and making sure that they were well provided for and they were full of love. Every setback that I had, I always had a better combat. I always stood up better. It made me stronger each time, more wise each time to be able to like face the next struggle, the next rock in the road. And I think the day that I graduated, it was like a flashback of every single moment that brought me back to this, that I was like, wow, I made it. I really do feel accomplished. I wouldn't have changed my journey. I think one of the things that I can give you advice on to all you out there that might be going through a difficulty right now is learn to love your journey. It's very unique. No one else is walking in those shoes but you. That's my wife. <laughs> you are the only one that can determine your fate that can change your outcome and the outlook that you have towards your life. If you're a young mother right now, embrace it, enjoy it. That is what you are right now. You are not gonna be that forever. But race, take that role and honor it, master it. Just like if you were going to school, read all the books you can to become a better parent. Give all the love that maybe you won't give it, give it to your child. And I think that that's what I did. I had many, many things taken away from me as, as a young child. I didn't have the right upbringing that I wished that I had. I didn't have the right love that I wished that I would have been given. But the moment Alexa was born, I made it my mission to give her everything that I didn't have. And it's such a wonderful feeling to see my daughter see that, that their mother is not a quitter. And believe me, they know that. Many, many times that, that something happened in my life, I had to hold back my tears and just put a, a smile on, put the, put, be brave to show them that life doesn't, it's not over when something happens. A lot of things have changed, as you can tell, you know, me and Jorge got back together a year ago. So my life has changed. I am blessed and very thankful for, to my husband that I'm able to be home with my children, to focus on them, make sure everything's going on with their school. Just the little simple things like being able to have the time to sit down and do their homework with them. Just have the time to be home and go on a school field trip like I did with Eliana for the first time without having to worry if I missed work, if I was going to have enough to pay the bills because I missed one day. So. I managed to get my diploma while they were in school and now hopefully in September I am thinking of enrolling to community college and seeing where I will further my education from there. I wish you all the best if, if you are out there and you are going through something, keep your head up. I really do. Keep your head up. Always remember your worth and learn to love your journey. Thank you guys. Thank you for your love and support. I read every comment that you post on my Instagram and Facebook. I loved all the, the wonderful, wonderful support on the day of, that I graduated. I know that I'm not alone and I know that I'm loved and accepted just for who I am. And I am not ashamed to say that finally I'm a high school graduate. Thank you. You see me, you see me. Dejamos nada que seguir. Solo una vida.